Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you guys are new here, hi, welcome. My name is Mox. I talk about anything and everything that I'm personally interested in. And in today's video, I have an exciting Barbie doll to review and share with all of you. So if you saw my thumbnail, then you would have seen that I recently got the Western Cowgirl Barbie from the Barbie movie. Now, this doll has been such a beast to track down. This doll has been sold out since last July when the Barbie movie dropped, and it really broke my heart that I couldn't get her her when she came out because in my opinion this is probably the most iconic outfit from the movie so I knew that I needed to add this doll into my collection just because she's so iconic like this outfit is so iconic now like I've seen so many people dress up as her for Halloween and I just think that this is going to be one of those dolls that's like so recognizable and so memorable from the movie that I, I just knew I needed her. So I'm really excited to own her. Now I did buy this doll off of Mattel Creations for $50. When Mattel Creations did a restock drop, I want to say three-ish weeks ago, basically Mattel Creations decided to restock a lot of the Barbie movie dolls and she just happened to be one of them. Anyways, let me go and get into this review. Let me unbox her and let me show you everything that's great about her. But also I want to see is this all worth the $50 price point. The price points of these dolls have been a little bit controversial since some of them have been $25 while other dolls like this one have been $50. So yeah, anyways, let me stop rambling and let's get into the review. So before I get into the review and unboxing, I quickly wanted to just go over the packaging of the doll real quick. So at the bottom, we have the Barbie movie logo. We also have a heart with a B at the top right corner. We have a clear window to see the doll. And in the background, we have the Barbie beach scene. Um, this is basically the standard packaging that we have gotten for a lot of the Barbie movie dolls so far. On the left and right different panels of the box, we have two hearts. We have at the top the Barbie dream house and at the bottom the same B heart that was on the front of the packaging and the Barbie movie logo right here in the middle and on the back we have a candid shot of Margot Robbie as Barbie the Barbie movie logo and just a quick little phrase and the same thing on this side of the box. Okay, so I'm back and I have Miss Barbie unboxed. So starting off at the top, we have a white cowgirl hat with this pink ribbon trim all along the brim. It also has white stars all over it. For her face, it's the pretty typical standard Margot face that we've gotten on a lot of the Barbie movie dolls. For her earrings, we have these pretty chunky star earrings that match the star motif in her outfit. And for her hair, there are these really big loose curls that are gelled. It's also pretty messy in the back, but that's probably just because of box hair. So starting off with her outfit, we have a bandana that is tied around her neck with a bandana motif. It's tacked onto the collar portion of her vest, but speaking of the collar portion, there are these star detailings printed on as well as faux stitching details printed on the edge of the vest as well. The front panel has nothing really going on. There are these two faux pockets that are stitched on with star embellishments placed on both sides of the top. Now for the back we have the star motif um, coming back as well as a horseshoe printed on the middle of the yoke section. For the back of the pants, there are these two purple printed stars that are supposed to mimic where pockets are supposed to be. And on the back, we have a hook and eye closure to take the pants off. For the rest of the pants, it's pretty plain, but we also have this section of the pants that are printed with stars that are supposed to match the collar portion of the vest and also the stars that are in her hat, as well as the stars on her earrings. And then for her white cowgirl boots there are these gold and silver painted sections so we have silver stars in the front gold stars in the back as well as silver painted along the brim of the top and gold for the the tip and the heel of the cowgirl boots so that is everything that Barbie comes with. This Barbie does have the standard points of articulation at the neck, the shoulder, the elbow, the wrist, the hip, and the knee. So the doll is on the standard body. There is no made to move articulation on her and that's pretty much everything that Barbie comes with. So now let me show you the two other accessories that she came with as well. So starting off we have a white doll collector stand for Barbie to stand on and she also comes with a certificate of authenticity with the Barbie movie logo on it. Okay, so now we're in the section of the video where I'm going to talk about my own personal opinions and also my own evaluation of the doll. Just 
as a disclaimer, like in my All Was Brass review, please note that this is just my own opinion and um, this only reflects how I feel about the doll. If I say something that I like or don't like and that's not something how you feel, then please don't take offense to that. I'm just one person and these are my own personal opinions. So yeah, I just want to put that out there before I get into the review. Okay, so starting off, I would say that this is a doll that I've been wanting for a long time and for a doll that I've been waiting for and hoping to be restocked for such a long time, I'm kind of left disappointed. So the first thing I'm really disappointed about is not necessarily the outfit or anything she comes with, it's actually the doll herself. My Barbie has a kind of a like um, a defective neck, like she kind of like has a can't really tilt her head forward it only goes backwards and it doesn't really take much for her head to go completely back um i don't know if that's essentially just my doll or if there's something up about a lot of these dolls but i'm just disappointed that the head is not necessarily sitting right on the body now in terms of her outfit i will say that for a doll that's $50, I wouldn't expect this to be a Playline doll. With the $50 price point, I'm expecting a little bit more of a collector value doll, which a lot of the more bigger boxed Barbie movie dolls seem to be more in line with collector dolls. And for a more pricier doll, some of the detailings of her just feel a little cheap. Like for instance, the pockets on her, I am filming this after my Always Bratz review, but on Chloe's jacket, she had actual working pockets on her jacket. But for some reason, these are not real and they're just stitched closed. I also would have really appreciated for these stars to actually be sewn on rather than to be printed. I was just would have appreciated some greater level of detail for her, for example, the stitching on the front panel near the crotch. I don't understand why this had to be printed. I think that they could have gone away with stitching or done fake lacing. I don't think it needed to be really like actually laced, but just printing it on felt a little bit lazy. Also, the printed detailing all along the collar with the like faux stitching of it or the faux lacing of it. I don't know why that had to be printed as well. It just seems a little like cheap and it's not really screaming quality to me. Also, I will say that the hat is really cute. However, it's not necessarily the most like secure on. And it's kind of sad that the hat is what kind of, yeah, you can see with the hat on, it's kind of forcing her head back and like making it a little bit like a bobble head. It's kind of sad. I really wanted to love every aspect of this doll because like I said, I've been waiting for her for so long, but for her to have some quality issues like that and some detail issues that could have been a little bit elevated, I don't know. It just seems like there wasn't as much thought put into this doll. I will also say that her doll stand does not keep her situated on. During the filming of this, she fell off the stand multiple times where I just decided to keep her off of it entirely because when I put her on, it's not the most secure. I think the clamp portion of the stand might be a little too big for the stall. And you know, she's actually fallen off of the stand multiple times. So I'm just not really thrilled with that. And I really hope that I can use one of my other doll stands to kind of fix that. So honestly, I will say that she is really cute, but for $50 and to have a neck defect and for there to be details of the outfit that could have been actually executed, it just leaves me kind of thinking like, yeah, the doll wasn't really worth the $50 price point and I guess I just really bought her for the aesthetic and look of her, which is unfortunate because I would have hoped for the quality to be there. I mean, the outfit itself seems fine. I'm actually surprised they did a hook and eye closure for the pants. Um, the snap closure for the vest is fine, but yeah, I'm just feeling a little bit disappointed. And then also for the hair, it, I'm really hoping that the hair is fine, but on a lot of the other Barbie movie dolls I have, the hair doesn't feel the greatest so i'm not really looking forward to washing it out hope i hope that this doesn't come off as a super negative review i was just personally expecting a little bit more out of the stall and hopefully that if you are looking to get the stall just know that there are some issues with her and the detail and quality isn't necessarily living up to 50 dollars
So that pretty much concludes my review of this doll. Honestly, I still think she's really pretty, but there are some noticeable things that I personally just don't like that's preventing me from loving her and like more than I would like to. Um, if you are someone who is on the fence about getting the stall or buying the stall if she restocks, hopefully I could have helped you figure out some of the details of if you should or shouldn't, you know, shown you some things that are could potentially be um, faulty with her and just some of the lack of detailing that might help you with your decision making. But yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please um, consider subscribing to my channel. I just hit 50 subscribers, which thank you guys so much for that. I would have never thought to have reached 50 subscribers. So it really means a lot to me that you guys are subscribing and liking the content that I'm putting out. Also, please consider like, sharing, commenting on this video. Also consider following me on Instagram at MoxDolls as well. I post pretty regularly on there as well. I post a lot of photography photos on there. So yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much again, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.